fantastic day. And if you do it right, be alive. <coughs> excuse me. So I got that sensation of uh, Snoke and Delta Nine, which I like. <coughs> And it's not as hard. Welcome back, family. It's your boy, Jordan, aka Sneedles, aka Ju Place, aka Joogie Woogie, bitches. But look, but look, I got the Backwoods shirt on, so you know what that means. In a previous video, I told you guys that I wanted to transfer to making cannabis based videos, right? So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I live in a state where THC where Delta 9 THC is not legal. But, good job. You know what is illegal? Delta 8. Now what we got here is a Delta 8 moon rock, okay? Now, let me step back. If you don't know what Delta 8 is, Delta 8 is just one cannabinoid from being Delta 9. But Delta 8 doesn't have nearly as much as the THC content as Delta 9 does. For example, the THC content in these moon rocks is less than 0.3%. As you can see, less than 0.3%. But Delta 8 is still psychoactive and it still gets you fucked up. So when you live in a state where weed is not legal, you can get stuff like Delta 8. This is normal bud, this is Delta 8 bud. And I happen to buy a lot of it, okay? But I have a whole bunch of different flavors, different strains that we need to try. So what we're gonna try first is the Moon Rocks. Obviously we have to try the Moon Rocks. And then on top of that, we also have this Delta 8 Shatter. Now this is wax, as you can see there. Delta 8 Shatter, it's got 90% potency. Real cannabis terpings in it, right? So, like I said, it is less than 0.3% uh, Delta 9 THC, but it still gets you fucked up. So what we're gonna be doing today in this video is we're going to be rolling up this moon rock with one of these very lovely non-GMO vegan CBD plus wraps, right? We're gonna put this together, we're gonna roll it up, see how it is, and we're gonna smoke it on camera, and then see if I get fucked up afterwards. So come join me. Grab a snack, grab a drink, grab your weed, grab your Delta 8, whatever you're smoking on. Come join me as we take this journey down the Delta 8 moon rock path. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay, so we have our Delta 8 moon rocks, as you can see. Delta 8 moon rocks. Um, this is seven grams. So what we are gonna do, and to keep it transparent, it was $54.99. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Smells, it actually smells just like weed, I can't lie. Delta, Delta 9 weed, that is. That actually smells really good. Here, y'all get a y'all get a sniff too. Y'all y'all sniff that. Look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? Oh my god. Okay. So we're gonna. If you guys want to throw me the box, if you we got one here. You're making lo fi. Like, wanna focus for me? Whatever. We're gonna break this up together. Me and you. Alright, let's see. Enjoy. Nice. That's what you're looking for. That's a good wrap. Okay. So let's put this moon rock in here, grind it all up. And we'll come back when it's ready to go. Ooh, baby, look at that. Baby, look at that. Okay, so now that we got it all grinded up, let's go ahead and stuff it into our cone, and then smoke it. Stuff her. Stuff her. Stuff her. Stuff her. Stuff her. Cones are super simple, man. Super easy. Just flatten out your, uh, flatten out your bud, and just go, just like this, real simple, like, just like this. Get some in there. You stuff it. 
Make sure you stuff it plenty of times, but don't overstuff it. If you understuff it, you're gonna have these little pockets in your cones that's gonna make it harder to smoke because air is gonna pass through there and you don't want that. So make sure you stuff it after you add a little bit of weed in there. Okay, once you're ending the, ear, uh, the end of your wrap, something like this, come on, there you go. Something like this, where it's to the top, but not all the way filled up. You wanna leave like maybe an inch of your cone because you're gonna fold it downwards, right? Because you obviously can't light it where it's sticking out or the weed's just gonna fall out. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slowly fold it over, the wrap, fold it over on itself, make sure it's good. It might stick out like that if you don't like that. that I mean, you can hold it, hold it down just like this and it'll form to it. So what you're gonna wanna do when your wrap is packed and folded down, you're gonna want to take your lighter and just burn off that very, that first bit of the wrap. And I'll show you how much you wanna burn down here. Because we're doing this because you don't want that initial flavor of just the wrap when you smoke the weed. Because you just wanna, you wanna taste the weed and you wanna taste the wrap, but you don't wanna taste only wrap. So we're gonna light it up like we're about to smoke it, let it burn down. I like to blow on it to get it to burn faster, but that's up to you. And then once you reached uh, where the weed is about to be, all you want to do is you just want to pat it very gently, not too hard or anything. Pat it just like that. And now you're going to get, see this is all going to burn away when you light it again, and you're only going to be smoking weed versus smoking the wrap only, then the weed and the wrap. Can I get my TV to turn on please? LG. I feel like this is something I could smoke for a decent amount of time and just kind of vibe with it. It's not strong. I thought it'd be stronger for it being in rocks. Yeah, it doesn't hit hard at all either, huh? No, it's really smooth. Oh, but uh, what I decided I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna do a half sleep first. I like the flavor of this. Um, I'm gonna do a half sleep first, uh -huh. and I'm gonna get my yield seal right here um, from Fable. Okay. But around the yield seal, I'm gonna have um, uh, your monger. Um, I'm gonna have him biting the yield seal and then circling <coughs> around my wrist all the way. Still up. makes you cough a little bit. That sounds pretty sick. I'm still gonna get the one that I wanted. I'm gonna get what well, Buddha on the back. I'm also getting the Order of the White Lotus. Order of the White um, Lotus. On my pinky. White Lotus. And my, um, the Airbender clan on my index finger. Yeah, eventually, sounds cool. eventually I want to get, um, something here around my neck. Eventually I want to get something around my neck too, um. Before I start doing my right arm, I think I want to do my left sleeve entirely, and then my neck, and then I want to move to my right arm. What? How to open. Place in palm, push down, and twist. Yeah, like a medicine thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit! What the fuck? That's not shatter. No, it's it's resin. Like, yeah, it's resin. Whatever. He said it was shattered. That's not shattered. Okay, so Delta Eight shattered. That's ridiculous. Next video will be on this Delta Eight live rosin. It's called sugar rosin, but oh, it does say shatter on it. But yeah. it it says shatter, but then it says live rosin. Yeah. It's definitely not shattered. This shit looks like we paid. Like 40 bucks or whatever it was for this for the glass <laughs> yeah we we paid for the container and they threw in a little bit of shit for it. <coughs> yeah they even got a little bit on the cap itself yeah, i don't think this is even a gram i'm looking at it and i don't know what, how much does it say it's supposed to be it's all it's always supposed to be a gram just one gram most likely it doesn't say how much on here 
they don't even tell us how much. This wasn't bad though, because the four gram one, <coughs> the four gram one was thirty five dollars, right? The other three, and this one for seven grams, so almost double. Yeah. For a way better strand. <coughs> Moonbox beats out almost any strand there is. I think there's some under, under it too. There is, but a very little. And then it's got like all on the side and it's leaking out too. Look at this. What do y'all think? We'll try it. It's got a good color. We'll try it. Next video. It's child proof though. It's weird. So you got to put it in your palm, go like this, and then twist. And it'll open up. You close it. It won't close if you don't put it in your palm and then twist like this. That's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> I oh. didn't know that. What? The difference between Delta 8 and Delta 9 is literally just the growth process. Yeah, like, I don't, see, so you can hardly see it here, but that, I think that's Delta 8. Delta 9 has, like, one more thing on it. Yeah. And that that's, that's all it is. It's pretty cool. Delta 8 is three and a half chambers full. I guess Delta, or I mean, Delta 9 is three and a half chambers, but I guess Delta 8 is only three. It's like the closest to Delta 8 or Delta 9 you can get without without being illegal. But in the great state that we live in um, and other states that don't have legal weed, they're already trying to ban Delta 8. Already. Don't worry, y'all, because when we get to Oregon... You best believe Delta 9 video is coming real soon and fast at you now. Mm. I still got that sensation of uh, smoking Delta 9, which I like. <coughs> <coughs> and it's not as harsh. No. So these come out of Florida, huh? This wax. Is that no the wax comes everywhere? Yeah, no cap hemp co. No cap. Are you kidding me? It expires on Katie's birthday. We're about at our halfway mark. Expires. This does? Yeah. On Katie's birthday. This, this, the flower. Yeah. 12, 17, 21. That's crazy. I wonder if it ex if it's better to smoke it when it expires. Maybe you get higher. I feel like with Delta 8, there's a good chance that um, freezing these, or like putting them in the refrigerator and chilling them, mm -hmm. will probably uh, be a better smoke. I like the fact that these are lab tested. <clears throat> And you can pull up. Well, it's legal. It has to be. And you can pull up their lab tests. Moving on up. Moving on up. up, up. Yeah. <coughs> Bloodhound. Now, this is how you play Bloodhound. I want to be one of those channels that people turn on when they want to smoke. And hang out with the YouTuber, you know what I mean? Like that, like the uh, Hispanic dude? Yeah, I'd there smoke with him. He seems badass. It just hit my brain. Right? I felt it, I, f I feel it Probably just a little. <laughs> Could you imagine riding on a roller coaster? Like a drop down to the park? But you're a, you're like a, you're a special type of human, right? Faster than anything a man can create. This dude can move faster than Mark. Like, he's Damn. very fast, right? And it's just because his combat the and like agility skills, how he leveled himself up. <coughs> um, he can move fast as shit, and he's oh, on nice. a roller coaster going like this. It's his first time ever on a roller coaster, and he's just blank spaced because it's so slow. He's just <laughs> like, he's like, how do I enjoy this? <laughs> weird 
this is so weird. Cause it doesn't burn like normal weed or Delta 9 weed. Although it does produce a lot more smoke. A lot more. It's not bad. I think Delta 8 isn't... It's supposed to get you fucked up, right? But at the same time, it's supposed to just calm you down and relax you. That's the main goal of Delta 8. So, if you're buying this thing and you're going to get super high, super fucked up, just like Delta 9, that's not necessarily going to be the case, depending on what you get. There are products out there that have gotten me super fucked up, like Delta 9, like the the batches of resin that I get from a smoke shop, they have gotten me super fucked up, but that's just because they make me cough and all kinds of other shit. But I can't wait to try this wax. I will say though, the fucking case looks so cool. <laughs> <coughs> then you, you smoke one of these, or you, uh, take a dab of the Delta A, or eat some gummies, whatever it is, right? And if you're in a legal state, then you match it with a small amount of Delta 9 THC, and you're high as fuck. You are high as fuck. When I traveled to California recently, that's what I did. Little THC and a blunt, edibles, whatever it is, of Delta 8. Yeah, 10 out of 10. And I will tell you, it does smell like you blowing down some Delta 9 THC. So if you're worried about the smell, it's legal. Who cares? Let's say fuck the system. We just wanna get high. We just wanna get high. I took a whole blunt, but now I'm starting to feel and it's not like a THC high. Um not yet at least. But I am starting to feel it. Seven stories. People are all here jumping that? I get it. Do you have to throw something in beforehand? You can just jump feet first. Uh -huh. You've got, we always have one ship, or one miniature boat of people that would just zoom around us while we were swimming. So if anyone um, had an issue, there was something that tried to grab someone, they couldn't swim, or something like that, you would still do jump call, and then after you try to jump grab call, somebody. someone would come and pick you up and take you back to the ship. There's Delta 10. What's Delta 10? superior to Delta 9. It carries every benefit and effect of Delta 9, but is fully federally legal and legal in 38 states. Wait, what? Thoughts? I don't feel too bad. I feel pretty... It's not bad. Not bad. I'm not high, like super fucked up high, but I feel pretty good. Just chill. Oh, wait, what about you? It's not like, holy shit. It's still better than smoking those stupid fucking pants. I agree. I like smoking blunts. 